Okay, welcome back everybody. I hope you have been crushing it this New Year's and sticking to your New Year's resolution. And um, I know some of you probably have goals you want to reach this year and I hope you get there. And uh, some of you may want to take karate, taekwondo, or whatever the case may be, I don't know. But anyway, uh, good luck with that. And just remember, it's not a three-month thing or it's not a year thing. It's a lifetime change. So next year when you come here and uh, you have reached your goals, you'll be glad and happy and you'll be ready to reach another goal. So just remember, I'm going to be crushing and rooting for you. And I know you can do this. So just stick with it. Just stick with it, guys. And you'll get there. So another thing too, guys, I saw in commercials that they have non-GMO products they're advertising now. I saw it on baby food and I saw it in some juices and I was so happy to see that they advertise in non-GMO this year. So sometimes people may not know what non-GMO, but if they see it on TV, non-GMO, they may want to research and I'm so happy that they're doing that now. So. You know they have a choice and also in the store you may see um be written on the labels which mean bioengineered um they put that on the labels too so that you would know what you're eating that you're eating genetic modified food and they also will have continue to have this right here non-gmo they will continue to have that sticker on labels too so you guys already know what non-gmo is so again you know just be aware of the be and, it, and it's telling you that it's uh, bioengineered. And then again, it may not have it on there, but if it doesn't say non-GMO, then you know that it's genetic modified food. So, okay. So, just wanted to let you know that. And um, with that said, let's go ahead and start with my topic today. Why you should do your research on GMO, or GMOs. Yes, you should do your research on GMOs, but um, if you want to come back to my channel and listen to me and update you on GMOs, which I have done decades for years on this, and uh, I'll be glad to update. And then if you do want to do your research and um, find out some things, leave it in the comments and talk to me about it. You know, leave something in the comments, something that you came up with. I'll be glad to talk to you about it. So, yes, why you should do your own research on GMOs. GMOs are made in a lab. That's one reason why you should do your research. It's made in a lab. It's a chemical. It's not made by seed. Okay? So, and then it's loaded with Roundup, with, which is a harmful ingredient called glyphosate. This is poison during the growth process. You know, Roundup is used on the GMO crop to kill the weeds, and it's a, it's a poison during the growth process of these GMOs, okay? So yeah, that's number two, why you should do your research. Okay, GMO plants produces a protein that ruptures the stomach of insects, and some scientists believe that it's killing off the bees. So they're saying that some of the uh, insects, insects that this, this uh, Roundup is not killing them. So how can they choose what insect that it's gonna kill. Like it's gonna kill this insect, and this one's gonna live, this one's gonna live, this and that, this and that. And you know, the thing is, there has not been that much study done on humans either, that this stuff is, 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 is uh, helpful and healthy for us. So you know, that's another reason. They're saying it's healthy. And it's killing off the bees and stuff. Scientists found out that it's killing off the bees and stuff rupturing the stomach of certain bees or they're saying all the bees but of course these chemical companies said certain bees but I just don't understand how it can be some bees and not all the bees or some insects and not all the insects and it has not been studied long enough that it's not harming humans okay so we need bees to pollinate plants and flowers of course we need bees to pollinate plants and flowers our trees to produce fruits and stuff like that or these beautiful oranges and grapefruits here that i have we need bees what if we don't have bees to pollinate our our, our trees and plants then we'll be forced to eat that stuff we're forced to eat it so that's why i want you to do your research okay guys so uh some scientists believe that Massive of pesticide and herbicide is killing off monarch butterflies. So they say it's killing off the monarch butterflies too. That is less to them. Scientists did studies and showed that it's killing off our monarch butterflies. So 
That's another reason. And GMOs are banned in some countries. GMOs are banned in other countries. Okay, if GMOs were so good, if it's not really hurting us or an environment, why is it abandoned in some countries? That's what I want to know. It should be all over then if it's not bad or if it's not good. All the countries will be using these uh, GMO products. Okay, so that's another reason. So forcing the DNA to another to come up with this experiment makes food last longer or or healthy to our bodies. How can that be healthy to our bodies? If you put some kind of uh, chemical to make it last longer. And some of my experiments I show you like in my videos that I was doing experiments and it is, it's in the food, that it is, it won't, it won't deteriorate. You know, I did a lot of uh, experiments. So go back and look at my channel, you will see some of the experiments that I've done as well. So, um, so forcing fish protein into spinach to make spinach uh, last long in cold temperatures and not freeze. So they're putting this fish protein into spinach to keep the spinach to last longer. Now, what if somebody is a kid or adult is allergic to fish and they eat this spinach? Guys, this is what's happening right now. They inject it, inject, injecting this protein into one and to another to come up with some type of experiment. Okay, and, it, and it's bad for allergens too. I did tell you uh, a story about my peanut allergy that I had a while back that had happened to me. So it's in one of my videos too. I think it's in one of the butter experiments that I was doing the butter on that had happened to me. So go back and check that out too. So yeah, they put in, uh, fish into spinach. You know, you know, people are allergic to fish and stuff like that. So... That's another reason to do your research. Okay, some scientists shows that glyphosate has been studied and tested long enough on humans to see the effects. So, like I said before, it's, the studies has not been long enough to see this, you know, the effect that it can have on humans. But we do know and that we saw tests uh, the GMO caused tumors in rats and the, the, the glyphosate cause cancer on some of uh, the long-term farmers that use glyphosate over the years, that they have uh, cancer now. So there's a huge lawsuit going on right now, okay? So, yeah, guys, that's another reason to do your research. I'll come back to my channel, and I'll update you. Right on. So another thing, too, um, uh, which, again, is a popular human carcinogen according to the World Health Organization. So glyphosate linked to our food supply and into the Kellogg's, Nutri-Grain, Nutri-Grain, soft bars, breakfast bars, oats, wheat, and barley. So now it's being linked into our foods, the Kellogg's Nutri-Grain bars. And you know, we normally get these Nutri-Grain bars because we think that it's healthy, you know, it's fast to eat, it's better than a donut. So now that, you know, they're coming up saying that it's in this uh, Kellogg's Nutri-Grain bars and stuff. So they're finding it in that, in the oaks, the bar, the bars, the oaks, the bars, the wheat, the barley, you know. So, yeah, there's another reason, guys, you should do your research. Or what you're putting in your food, or putting in your mouth, your kid's mouth, the family. Yes, you should do your research. Okay, and it contains glyphosate, an ingredient that causes cancer. Glyphosate does cause cancer. A lot of people have a lot of health issues now with cancer and testicle uh, problems and stuff like that. So yeah, just 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 do your research. Like I say, come back to my channel and I keep you updated. So 25 million pounds per year of Roundup are used on crops according to the topclassaction.com. Guys, 20, 200, and 250 million pounds per year around the use of crop. 250 million pounds per year. That's a lot of glyphosate poison that they're putting on the food today. Okay, so yeah, so I'm happy to know that lawyers are after these companies and call it out whenever they find a possible carcinogen in our food that people are ingesting. So there you go, guys. Yeah, do do your research and um, 
please read the labels. Read what you're putting in your body. Make sure that it's non-GMO, you know. And if you do decide to eat GMO foods, you know, then the other people who don't want to eat it, they have a choice to eat it or not. So, but if you do decide to eat it, just do your research. And um, I will have more uh, topics on this too, and my videos to come. I will have more topics on all of this. So yeah, so just stay tuned and you know, keep watching, like, subscribe, and I put up more videos, more experiments and stuff like that. And uh, again, keep crushing it this year. Hope you reach your goals, and I hope you get everything that you want this year. And blessings to all of you, and peace out. And I will see you in my next video. Peace out.